Welcome back to the bazaar. It's time for me to play the crane build. Probably not, but I can only I can always hope to find it and actually find a playable state for it. Otherwise, I guess I'll just pick a different core maybe that I haven't played in a while. Okay, we literally just played an ignition core, and I think the core is terrible. Okay, I take it back. I think the core is insane but only in one specific build that i know of it's just the power drill build and even in that build i don't know if it's that good i just go friend there's more there's more stuff to do with this pretty disgusting start though yeah this is bad this is very bad i'm trying to think because weapons are definitely not a thing is it medium burn for micro Dave or is it small burn or like any burn on everything? Probably just this, right? Okay, I can't pass up on this. I'll, I will go Kyver drone. There is actually a way to beat this. I think, oh, or I could go banana bowl for the duct tape actually yeah that's better so if you remove all your items from your board which I, actually i'll just do this whatever if you remove every item from your board you can beat kyver drone so shout out to uh the person who commented that on a previous video but i'll speed this up because it's gonna be yeah just uh, waiting for sandstorm yeah, actually i'm just gonna i'm just gonna skip that instead of uh, speeding it up there's no point sometimes i want to speed up because it still allows people to like actually see what's going on but there's literally nothing going on there so there's no point i guess weapons not very good but actually we could do the force field combat core build i kind of yeah i'm kind of down for that that could be played on any core so yeah we can give that a shot in case we don't find anything early. You find who does. <laughs> yeah, Brick Buddy at Bronze is really not that good, but uh, it is serviceable, I guess. I, you're really gonna enjoy <laughs> I don't know, this looks like... This looks terrible. I think that's actually better. I have a burn skill. I have no friends except for Brick Buddy that needs other friends. This is so bad. What's my win condition? Is it stalling or is it... Because I could do this. I could do like these two. And then try to skill Brick Buddy, but I think it's worse than Duct Tape Force Field. At least with this, I have a tiny chance of winning. Probably not against Pig. Against Vanessa, there's always a chance. And against Dooley, I guess. Yeah, this is a loss. But yeah, I'll speed this up because it's going to be boring. Yeah, this will be a nice showcase of the force field combat core build, I think. You could just play it on any build, really. On any core, I mean. So it's pretty consistent. Uh, they're pretty easy to find, I would say. Yeah, I'll do experience here. It's not great, but... Yeah, we are very poor. I'm kind of in a weird spot where I just have nothing. I <laughs> really don't have anything meaningful here. Okay, that's good. That does make me significantly stronger. Since we can finally use the burn, although... Positioning is going to be really awkward until I get more space, because this needs to be adjacent to this and this. This needs to be adjacent to a friend, which means I can't place duct tape in between these. It's like, kind of weird. Wait, this display is wrong, right? Is it? No, it's not. Th this felt so weird, like, going back to this and seeing these, like, straight across. Is it not supposed to be, like, a V-shape? Anyways. Thrusters. Ugh. Guess I'll play it. That is not great. Because it's burning myself as well. What do I want? What do I want here? Maybe... Maybe a Mosquito. 
I'm trying to think ahead for the combat core build. Try to get insect wing, try to get rush. Great. Mosquito has a lot of good things. Even Amber can see some play by giving cool LEDs one more slow. I can't even upkeep the the burn. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> this is so bad, actually. I think it's just... Maybe I should have taken the damage, actually. Yeah. I regret this. It would only be better if I had Microdave and, like, Bomb Squad and Charcoal or something. Okay, Wing is good. I'll keep it in my back pocket. Come on in. Let's chat. Okay, Sander is good. Ooh. Lizard is good. Duct Tape is good. I don't know. Well, I can't really lizard when I'm playing fiery. I think. Okay, we'll buy Sander. Okay, we do get space. That's huge. Massive. Oh, plus one poison would have been nasty, but I can't do it. All right, let's go two XP. Let's actually slightly pivot here into. Nothing's that fast, hmm. Yeah, I guess it's probably this. Scaling, duct tape, scaling force field twice. Non what can I- oh, I could go medium here. Yeah, I could go medium for pulse rifles in the build. Non-weapon would be- again, I'm pretty poor. I think I just take the non-weapon. Okay, not cool. Cycling center. Roster upgrade, what? What the hell? It is pretty okay, but I don't like that it's burning me. I really don't. I think it's pretty disgusting that it's burning me for more because of the skill. No reload, but this is a lot of damage actually. Uh, no, it's, a sil it's not a silver cannon. I think I win actually. I have scaling. This is scary. But, uh, yeah, I think I do enough damage eventually. They're out of cannon ammo. This will scale. Burst them down. Yep. It's actually way easier than I expected. Pretty solid. You can always rely on force field early game, I think. Especially with duct tape. And power center. These three are really good. Early. Spare change. So, three gold. Weapons. I'm not sure weapons are what I want anyways. I could take the, the HP. Is, is 50 HP better than three gold here? I think it is. It's a lot more power early game. I will go for small items though. Power sander upgrade's huge. It's exactly what I want. Fire's remorse never. Be Bomb squad upgrade, I guess. For your size. Gold duct tape, what the? Okay. I accept. LEDs. I have no money. Kinda want Ed. Is it time? To crack the wing. Actually a pretty tough call here. Because then I, I buy this, I play, I cut this, I play thrusters. Where? Probably... Where do I play thrusters? Next to bomb squad? It's not that good. Maybe I, maybe I just sell this. Sure. Shall I gift wrap it for you? Well, I guess I can't play this yet. Kinda need money, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I just go for money here. Rogue Scrapper has some extra shield though. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll do Rogue Scrapper. I want the scrap. I want the scrap. I want rust. 
And I'll take the heal, but it's probably not going to be relevant. I'm actually really strong. Six shield scaling here. 12 total scaling on force field. Because it's also scaling the damage as well. Pretty good. Basically not playing the core. Sure. Plus 15 heal, eventually. Maybe. Is this like a... Is this an illness or something? Do I, why do I keep opening... They need to fix this though. It should not brick the game when you do that. Temporarily. Okay, we can do... We can do that, I think. Or this is probably faster. Alright. Maybe buying Ed was bad. Upgrade the core. Hmm. You know, I kind of still have to do it because it's not guaranteed we end up on the... Yeah, it's not guaranteed we end up on the combat core build. So if I don't upgrade the core, I could be in a really, really bad position. So I still have to set myself up for two different builds. Can't really... Yeah, I can't really just ignore this companion core for free. Wow, what is happening? I don't even know if there are any tools that I actually want. Power Sander? Sure. Tools, weapons? <laughs> Chris? Well, sure. A bucket saved my life Chris once. is good. <laughs> you just never know. Is it better than Bomb Squad? I think Bomb Squad is faster after it gets the haste, so I think it's not better. So for now... It's just sitting in my inventory, I guess. Can't roll. I need income here so bad. It's way too poor. Actually, I feel like this is not better than just playing two of these. If not just this, but probably both of these. I want to say this doesn't need more haste. Yeah, it's probably still faster. Okay, so this is correct. Or I just put the core here, but I don't think it's faster either. See what happens. Lifesteal rifle with 35% crit. That's going to be close. No, it's not. Wait, I have scaling. No, we're good, we're good. And I have slow, wait. Oh yeah, three seconds slow, this is their only active item. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a win, it's a win. That gold duct tape is crazy here. Probably would have won anyways, but it would have been much closer. I still think I'm... I want to lean towards the combat core because I don't think companion core so companion core to win past seven you have to play item destruction it's like pretty much the only build that works that's something I've realized from watching Crip and whereas the combat core I think can win no matter what because the skills are insane all right well it's good obviously I would want to roll for combat core but I can't really buy it, can I? I have 8, so I'm at 12. I could sell 2. Yeah, I could maybe buy it. Okay. Let's do it. I think I... The fact that I have to use this is tilting, but I, I kind of feel like I should just go for it. Because if I get upgrade the core nodes, it's going to be so clutch. Alright. Four seconds. Let me think about this. So, for this build, you want the combat core on the left. So it scales its shield when you use an item to the right. And... 3.8... Yep. Okay. Good. It's looking good. Now I need pulse rifle, but I have no money, so let's just go for docks, weapon, try to get it. I got tusk helm. 
which is honestly not even that bad. Then we go for probably experience at this point. I want to push this core to max. And you're going to see why this build is insane. Insanely consistent. Just, uh, just really good. The end game board state is Pulse Rifle, Chris Army Knife, and that's it. So just Pulse Rifle instead of Power Sander and Tusk Town, and you have the build pretty much. Then you just get this to Diamond, it has Giga Shield Scaling, and then you're good to go. Pretty simple board. Tool, cooldown, shield, XP. Bronze tier junk items. That could be cooldown, but I'm not doing too well on gold. I kind of want to skip that. Usually, if you're playing companion core, you have to go Curio because you can get rocket boots, but I don't think I'd go for it. I think I just take the gold. It's important for me to be able to purchase combat core or force field as well when it pops up. This is not good, right? Because I want the last remaining piece is, is a weapon and I can't upgrade anything other than the sander. I'm kind of down to just C skills. 60 HP is probably... Eh, actually, 60 HP is not that bad. Poison... No, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna... So either I take one of these for three... If I think it's going to be relevant, which it probably won't, but you never know. Maybe it, maybe I'll take it. Eh, it's three gold. It's probably fine. Also, the fact that I have poison now means that I can grab, like, when you poison freeze. So it's, you know, it has some value, I guess. Potentially. Whoa. What is this? I don't even know what's going on. Uh, Bust Helm. Do I win this? Too much, too much burn, right? I'm just too slow. Yeah, I'm just too slow. It's eating my shield. I gotta restart the game too. Oh wait, what? Wait. Duct tape. Scaling. Hold. The only issue is it's it's desynced. This is slower than this by a decent amount. I think I win. Wow, that crits? Wait, wait. Oh no, it didn't crit. It's just massive shielding. Okay, I need to restart the game though. Burn, Bring her about. burn and poison. I think specifically burn has too many visual effects. Like it's too intensive. It just kind of destroys your game's frame rate if you don't restart the game often. Okay. Again, not much I want here. In the tool section, so docks, weapon, okay. extra gold, upgrade leftmost, 25 scaling, non weapon, don't care. So, also, yeah, no, another like huge benefit to playing builds like this is that once your build's online, you're not really fishing for items anymore, or at least you're fishing for specific items. So, a lot of shops you can skip and just go for skills earlier, or like other buffs. But this is terrible. That is nasty. I'll just go mod squad for XP. Oh, I still need to replace this. I forgot. Oh yeah, I, I did forget. For now, without pulse rifle, I really need a replacement for this. It's a little bit weak. But I guess we can get it here. Like Aiden. Well, I guess just Aiden. Otherwise, just give me a crypto. I actually hate that this is... Okay, wait. I need to... I think I actually do this. This being 0.2 slower is actually a huge problem. So I think I actually need to buff this damage more. Well, I... yeah. Probably, yeah. Charcoal. I'll play it because it gets extra burn and I can use this on it and use another friend it gains a plus one burn okay small item so gumballs are really good I'm 
Not doing too well on money, though. I'd probably still do it. It's actually quite insane with this uh, with this um, build. Pretty much everything's a hit except for the green ones. And even... We're still early enough where it does matter. Okay, crit is good. Shield matters. Damage matters. Like the fact that every single item on your board is shield and damage is what's really crazy. Let's go six. Okay. I'm not like super strong, but I'm definitely should win against Pig. Yep. I'm more afraid of like Vanessa or something. Even Dually. I gotta get this cooldown lower. It has to go off before this goes off. I can do that with a single feather, though, so it's it's doable. I'll get it eventually, probably. Shield items plus seven. I think that's actually worth it, yeah. It is. Because it buffs duct tape. Oh, dually unique skills. That's huge. Potentially when you use the core haste. When you use the core, your shield items gain 10 shield. That's also good. When you burn, haste the core. You have exactly one friend. Reduce it and the core's cooldown by 5 seconds. Oof. Wow. This is very difficult, actually. So 5% would put this, you know, faster cooldown than, than this. So... That would fix my order problem, but this gives me scaling. It's actually a difficult decision. I, I think it's still titanium casing. But it's... I think it's pretty close. Maybe it's not. I'm just hoping eventually it gets fixed, it gets fixed uh, in a different manner. So we'll just have to see what happens. I think tools are worth more, actually. Yeah, that's worth a lot. Can you slow charge this? Nope. Alright. Wait, does Dire Inglet have the, the skill that... Let me check. Does Dire Inglet have the skill that gives you diamond, small items, 30% less cooldown thing? Where is it? Dire Inglet. No. No, it does not. It's the wolf, I think, or something. Gain two regen when you gain regen burn. Not very good. Okay, tox clocks. Most likely not going to be useful. But I guess I might as well try. Maybe get the pulse rifle. Enchanted. I did not. Is GPU better than charcoal? I think objectively, yes. Even though it's bronze. And that will fix my order problem. Once this goes off once. I think eventually it doesn't fix it, but... Like, it will revert back, but I think it's after, like, three activations, maybe, or something. Something like that. Shield skills on day six could be good. Yeah. Equal to your level, not bad. 200 HP or shield items gain 8. I think it's the HP. I gotta survive burst damage and poison. Also, now this should be here, I think. Yeah. Oh, same build. But worse? Because they have less shielding, and I have scaling. I think. Maybe? I don't know. I have GPU too. It's the, the freeze is a little bit annoying, but I think it's fine. Since they have, they, like, 
The freeze is annoying because it could freeze power sander, which then doesn't give me the duct tape proc and doesn't buff duct tape. So it's kind of like, but yeah, I just went eventually. So more scaling with the uh, titanium casing. It was the difference maker there. This could be huge. Kev's armory. Let's give it a shot. Also, the, yeah, this should be going here. People here look so Shielded micro Dave. Not happening, but this is nice. It's good to upgrade that. Shielded snail. Cool. Wow. I think I just have to go large items. I just don't have a choice. Real gun. I wanted gun balls pretty badly, but oh wow, I actually missed. Yeah, I was looking for one of these. That's pretty unfortunate because then I could upgrade one at 11, the other one that wasn't upgraded. Still need the rifle too. Cosmic Rock for cooldown? Nah, Treasure Turtle is a little bit too strong. And I'm a little bit desperate for money too, so if I get Bag of Jewels or Genie Lamp, I'm going to be good on money for the rest of the game. And, um, well, not really for the rest of the game, but <laughs> temporarily. If I get Hunker down, that would be huge as well. And if I get plus 12 shield, also huge, so a lot of really good things here. I wouldn't hate a Clamra either, to be honest. Okay, I do not like that though. But it's decent money, I guess. Medium large, pulse rifle, please. Hello. No. Why is it bronze? Well, kinda have to play it. Oh, did he see me close a deal? Well, is it better? I think it is. I think it's still better. Triple activating for this. Yeah, it probably is better. But now my order problem is still not fixed. Leftmost plus 18 shield. I think I just want experience. Shield skills. I also need to not neglect this. Because otherwise it could remain bronze for the rest of the game. And that would be... That would be game over. I might just go to weapons just to try to find this. And I can also find these as well. Even though this is huge. Oh man, it's so tough. It's so tough. It's not that likely that I find a gold skill yet, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to upgrade this before it's too late. Or at least get one of these. Okay, phew. Massive. Correct call. Could have gotten any upgrade, it would have been nice, but this specifically, minus one cooldown. The build is online. We're good to go. And you're gonna see how crazy this build is. Well, oh. once this is diamond, but you'll still see it go off pretty well. It just skills combat course so fast. They're also on a shield damage build, but their spike shield is so much slower than my force field that I can destroy their shield before it goes off. So I'm just winning this, and I have better scaling on the combat core than the rest of the board. Need some crit chance on this though, and this, potentially. Yeah, both. Oh, this could be huge. This could be huge. Crane! Fuck. Wow, that's... Is that unlucky? I feel like it is. To not find... That's actually... Well, I got lucky enough to find Pulse Rifles, so I'm not going to complain, but still. It's a little bit annoying. I'm so pissed that I used the... Oh wait, this is 6% cooldown reduced, right? So the one feather wouldn't work. Oh, even the friend thing would not have worked. This is 6%, not not 3. It was a silver wing, right? Well, that's gonna be tough. I gotta get this. So, twice reduced, but 2 feathers? That's gonna be hard. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's a start. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> that's a little bit too good. 
a little bit too good. This feels really good. The fact that gumballs are so disgusting on this build is very satisfying. Need more blues. Gold skills, that sounds fun, but it's pretty random because it only offers you three. When you haste, give your items... Oh, I got... Oh, it gives you four options. Casing V2. When you use the core adjacent weapons, yeah, it's just a no-brainer, right? Tool. What is this? Not a tool. Okay. Well, casing. More scaling. Pretty much only lose to the bugged ammo Vanessa, probably. Where dagger just kills you in like two seconds. They do not have alacrity, so I probably win. The, the boat is pretty much useless unless you have alacrity. Then it's actually broken. And you still need silencer and stuff, so it's it's, it's tough. Baseline a little bit too slow. Ten gold. I might go for ten gold. Yeah. Freeze skills. Oh shit! This could be huge. First time you freeze. Ace your items. That is so insane. When you use your slowest weapon, freeze a smaller item. I can't. This is my slowest weapon. Unlucky. So do I want four seconds of freeze, or do I want to set up invigorating cold for when we find another freeze skill, which might never happen? Yeah, it might never happen. It's kind of hard to set up freeze here. I'll just take the four seconds. You've been slowing the tar district traffic. And yeah, my decision to spend three gold earlier is actually going to pay off. The only weakness that this build has is that it is relatively slow in terms of like, like compared to other builds that have like a bunch of haste, it is not the fastest. So you do need, you rely heavily on skills to get this to like 10 wins. But it is pr pretty consistent 7, I would say. The upgrade... I want to say it's duct tape. Since that increases the slow amount. It's the only crowd control I have. Here we go again. Gumballs. Gumball enjoyer. Gumball enthusiast. Crit is what matters most now. It's the only way to like propel this build to the next level. Nice. Do I go? No, okay, just max HP. Okay, please don't die to the dagger, please. Save me from the dagger hell. I guess I lose to port too, potentially, if they have like perma freeze. This is trash. I've played my fair share of single weapon builds, and they all feel terrible. Again, it's actually hard to get 7 with them now. At the start of the games, when the game initially released in close beta, it was actually pretty good. Because people didn't really know what they were doing. But now that everybody's playing like freeze everywhere, it's just completely unplayable. You have to have the most ridiculous setup ever to play like single weapon. Unless it's the boat, but like I'm talking about like rifle, katana. It's so hard to set up. Yeah, well, they're gonna give me gumballs. I'm gonna eat some gumballs. It's pretty crazy. Hopefully, they get to like 10% crits. Yep. And uh, the damage on Pulse Rifle is triple, so pretty decent. It will actually kind of matter. Shield is kind of triple, too, on the duct tape. 12 shield. Oh, crit chance is too good. Too good, too good. 12 gold. That's tempting. 
I think it's 12 golden. Oh my goodness. If we, I've never had a board that could use hyper focus, but we can here. If only one medium item, 30% cooldown reduction. That would be insane. Wait, I just thought about this. Chris is not necessary for this build, right? This could be Aiden. And then I could have taken the your slowest weapon freezes. I just thought about that. I already have a tool here, so I only need a friend. But then you the, the only downside is you you lose all the shield scaling aspects of uh, Chris Army Knife. Full of noise. Wow. That's ridiculous. And I need crowd control, so I'm going to take that. Upgrade the core. <laughs> Alright, let's get loot. I need cooldown, I need feathers. There's a feather. Damage. I need one more, though. I might keep the feather. Okay, never mind. 3.8. But I think it's still slower. By a little bit. Crit is huge. Yeah, crit is huge. 23%? Vanessa. Tough. Very tough, potentially. This looks like a ammo, yeah. Breeze potion scary. Daggers, bugs. Ah, they have the infinite, yeah. Goodbye. Well, they don't have the infinite, but since daggers bugged, I lose there. Would have won otherwise, but uh, yep. Yeah. It has no internal cooldown, so it just uses it just shoots everything immediately, essentially, when it shouldn't. So tough luck. Very tough luck. There's when you shield your weapons gain 20 damage, so yeah. I mean I'm pretty much there. I have everything I could possibly want now. I just need more freeze. This for cooldown. Tough to justify over skills though, because that could be a lot of stuff. So I kind of gotta go for skills. Crits per weapon, that's 12%. That's pretty good. Is it good enough? I think it is. I think 12% is actually significant. I do want more crowd control, but. Yeah, it's, uh, it's tough to pass up on something that's like guaranteed to be quite relevant. Would be nice to hit this as well to have a better chance against Vanessa. Just go off a little bit earlier. Get some shield. And yeah, with now with sharp corners. Essentially, if I live the initial burst of damage, I just win. So I have so much damage. And shield. Well, my shield scaling is not great, but I have a lot of damage. Alright, tool cooldown, I guess. Fine. Temporary buff HP. Gumballs. Here we go again. Crit. Okay, shield is actually good. I think shield is what I want at this point. I have infinite damage. So shield or crit. Okay, good. Happy to face Dooley instead of Vanessa. Unless they have Freeze. What is this? First time you fall below half health in, in a fight, use your friends. They don't have item destruction. They have a 24 poison monitor lizard. What the? I almost won. It didn't crit, I think. A little bit too fast. That is ridiculous. It's unbelievable. Heal. Yeah, not great. Not great. Yeah, it's not great. I don't know. Uh, I guess. I mean, there's better for this, but I think for now I just have to... Guarantee... Put on the best item I can. Unfortunate, though, that's healing... 
Actually, it's not that bad. Maybe, I mean, shielding's the best. Healing, I was looking for Radiant to have unslowable, you have un indestructible. Let me Can you give me a different freeze, please? Or haste? And you gain burn shield 20. Stop that, I guess. Craftsman doesn't do shit. All right, let's grab. Might grab the regen. I don't think the regen's relevant. Never mind. Let's go upgrade this. A little bit more shield. I was just missing a little bit of max HP, right? No, probably not. It was mostly like speed. I was lacking speed. I need Aiden actually, kind of. No, I, yeah, I kind of want Aiden instead of this. So the build is not optimal because I need the haste from Aiden is relevant. For sure. I think I take. I don't know if 350, 375 max health is better than 30 shield on duct tape. I want to say that it's... I don't know, actually. It does matter more against poison, though. Yeah, I think that's convincing me. Okay, if we get this, that would help a lot. But yeah, it is kind of tough to get 10 wins with this build without, like, more crowd control or, like, a haste skill or something. Or, like, an enchantment... So yeah, it's like it's pretty much guaranteed seven, I would say, and then you gotta figure figure out a way to break the build a little bit more. But it's incredibly cons consistent, I think, at doing seven. More max health. Yeah, it's just gumballs. It's the only thing that matters. I'm gonna be so poor next day though. Because I got the skill and didn't get money. No damage is bad. Crit is good. Alright, here we go. Haste? Oh, I got it. I actually got haste. Okay. I think we're good. I, I did kind of break the build here. Haste two items for one second, three times. Everything's boosted now. It's kind of a loop. Now I really need Aiden though, I think. The one thing we're really missing for Vanessa is uh, when your opponent uses an item, your shields gain like 10 or something or 20. Or when you use a weapon, your shield gains. Oh, okay, it's not the infinite. Might have a chance here. Good freeze on the, well, not that good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, it's fine. I guess they weren't, like, abusing it to the next level with Repeater, but... Aiden would not have changed anything. I was really missing those two pivotal shield skills to win there. When your opponent uses a weapon, gain shield, and when you, you, when you use a weapon, scale your shield, so... Like, Sharp Corners was good, but... It was not as good as getting the shield scaling ones. Maybe, like, I would have to rewatch that fight. Did I crit or did I not crit at specific timings where it would have mattered? I don't know. I had the build, though. I had a, I had a really nasty build. It's just Vanessa so strong. I even had unwavering. Yeah, it's just whatever. Either way, good run. Not much to say. It's very good to get seven consistently anyways, and uh, yeah, we managed to like turn a pretty rough start with like a burn skill that didn't do anything, no companions or no friends that were relevant early into a really solid run. Got to showcase the build, which is nice. But yeah, I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble seeing how you, like without the crazy skills, I, I don't see how you're getting to 10 with that build. People can, like, freeze you out. People can obviously burst you down. The speed, it's mostly about the speed of your items. It seems like you need haste somehow 
And I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to get it. Aiden is haste, but it's not like it's not like it's hasting in multiple things. It could just miss. You need like when you use the core haste an item for four seconds, you need a haste enchantment probably. I can't really think of anything else that would help. Because that build has no item slots, basically. The only item slot you have is one friend. And that one friend can only be Aiden, I guess. And that's all of the skills. Either way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.